How does one core lab run multiple applications on a single system? We're at ASHD 2015, and let's find out the answer to that question. So Adam, that was a great presentation you gave today. Um, could you tell us a little bit about your lab and what work you're doing? Yeah, okay, so we are uh, a service provider for next generation sequencing. Uh, and we provide basically sequencing services for researchers in, in Sweden. So we do a variety of different applications. So you were part of the early access program for the new INS5 Excel system. So could you tell us a little bit about how the whole experience with the platform was? Yeah, so I think the main thing with this system is that it's very easy to set up and you know to, to run the experiments on this system. Uh, and we've also been trying then to see how it performs in, in many different cases for different types of applications. So you mentioned that you know you 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 run multiple applications. Could you comment a little bit more on what applications you you studied with the INS5 Excel system? Yeah, sure. So what we did first was to look at copy number variations in human cell lines, basically to identify chromosomal gains or losses in the genome. Another thing we looked at is uh, human exome sequencing, where we're at interested in finding uh, SNPs and indels that are causing diseases. Uh, we've also done experiments on the AmpliSeq whole transcriptome, uh, and that's to you know, measure gene expression levels and get robust counts of genes uh, in the whole genome. Uh, and we also did uh, work on virus integrations, in fact, to try to identify uh, the exact positions in the genome where human papillomavirus integrates. And so specifically for the CNV application, could you give us a little more details on what the experimental design was, what chip you used? Yeah, sure. So we used the 530 chip in that case. Uh, and we were also uh, taking a sample that has previously been studied on arrays. And basically want to see that uh, we can find the same kind of events now on the S5 compared to the array. And, and I would say that the results look very, very <laughs> good. And, and moving forward, what applications are you, are you going to be running on the system? Yeah, so, I mean, apart from the things that we have already discussed, we're also going to do metagenomics using the 16S panel. Uh, we will do different types of gene panels to look at, for example, comprehensive cancer, uh, to look at those kind of things. And we're also uh, doing RNA sequencing. Yeah, m many different types of applications. So it's all these multiple applications rolled into one platform. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you.